fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high o silver, the Lone Ranger. lonely campfires throughout the western United States, cowboys still tell of the deeds of the famous masked rider of justice. He fought crime wherever he found it, and did more than any other single man to bring law and order to the frontier. With his faithful Indian companion Tonto, and his great horse Silver, the phantom rider of the plains faced countless dangers with unfailing courage. And now, adventure comes to life once more. The Lone Ranger rides again. As the Lone Ranger flashed by on Silver, we heard him say that a wagon train was in trouble. The wagon train, led by old Peter Ridley, had been suffering increasing difficulties. Amos Carver, once Ridley's firm friend, quarreled with him until the two men scarcely spoke to one another. The entire party took sides, and dissatisfaction grew daily. But when they reached the point where the Oregon Trail and the Santa Fe Trail divided, the trouble reached a crisis. As our first act opens, the wagon train had made camp for the night. Amos Carver is talking to Sam Dougal, the scout. Hey, Randy, Sam, I've stood for all I'm a-going to. I don't know where Pete gets off thinking he's the only fellow in this wagon train that knows anything. Well, Mr. Carver, I'd say you ought to be the leader of this party instead of him. Ain't no reason why I couldn't do just as well. I mean, you're a heap better liked by folks than he is. And why not? You don't see me telling folks that everything they do is wrong. Uh-huh. Like us hunting them buffalo today. Blast it all, why shouldn't we hunt buffalo if we've a mind to? Ain't hurting him any, is it? Of course it ain't. That's just like Pete. If he don't think of something first, and it ain't right for anybody else to think of it. I tell you, Sam, I'm going to kill all the buffalo I want. Shucks, a fellow's got to have some kind of sport. If you hear Pete tell it, you think it was a crime. But he's the leader. Well, I suppose you'd better do what he tells you. Hmm. It's likely he'd make trouble for you if he was to cross you. Just let him try it. Why, that addle-headed old buzzard ain't, ain't going to take Lee folks would side again you. Did he say that? Now, look here, Mr. Carver. I ain't one to stir up hard feelings. I'm asking you a question. Well, I... So he did, huh? Well, I'll show him who's got the most friends. Next time I see Pete, him and me is going to have a showdown. I wouldn't want you to let on I said anything, Mr. Carver. You ain't told me nothing I didn't know already. Tell me what to do, Willie. Thinks folks are sad with him, does he? Well, I'll teach him to reckon with Amos Carver for a change. I'd better be getting along, Mr. Carver. I got me some work that's waiting to be done. Oh, you run across that old goat, you just tell him I got something up my sleeve he ain't expecting. And if he don't like it, he don't blame well what he can do. Things I have stored in the back of my way. Having trouble with your things? 
anybody seen Jim around? He borrowed my egg. Just seen Jim a ways back. Oh, thanks. Hello there, Mr. Ridley. Howdy, Sam. Fixing your wagon? Yeah. All is something wrong with the blame thing. Say, what's this I hear about you and Amos hunting buffalo today? It weren't my fault, Mr. Ridley. Amos put you up to it, eh? Well, I'm just working for you fellas. I got to do what I'm told to, don't I? Uh, I figured it was that idiot's idea, killing Buffalo just for the fun of it. I told Mr. Carver we shouldn't. Buffalo's for food. Everybody that lives in this country, redskins and whites both, depend on it for the living. It's a sin to kill them for sport. That's right. And that ain't all. Seems as if nothing suits Amos anymore. If I'm for something, then he's again it. Sure as shooting. Well, I guess he figures folks would rather have him for a leader than you, Mr. Ridley. Oh, he does, does he? I don't aim to talk when I shouldn't, but I heard him saying something about having a showdown with you. Then that's just what we are going to have. Of course, this ain't none of my affair, but it seems to me when one fellow's a leader, then the others ought to do as he says. And that's just what Amos is going to do. I'll make that darn digit sorry he ever crossed me. Look, ain't that Amos coming this way? Well, that's him, sure enough. We're going to have it out right now. I hate to see trouble between you two, Mr. Ridley. Ain't nothing you can do about it. Amos asked for it, and he's going to get it. I want some words with you, Pete. Say or say, Amos. And then I got things to tell you. No, fellas, You keep still, Sam. I know you've been wanting to smooth things over, but there ain't no chance. Amos, you're a darned idiot. I am, am I? Hmm. Well, listen to me, you old goat. You're going to hear some things you ain't hankering after. Yeah? I heard you've been hollering because me and Sam here shot some buffalo. Just who are you to tell me what I can do? I'm the boss of this wagon train, that's who. And I'm giving you an order right now that's going to be obeyed. And what's that? There ain't going to be no more shooting a buffalo unless it's for food. Killing them off just for the fun of it's got to stop. I hear you. But you ain't giving me orders no more. And why not? Because I've been talking to some of the other folks, and they're tired of the way you've been running things. Yeah? We decided we're getting out. Yeah. The trail branches off just ahead. When morning comes, we're going one way, and you're going the other. That suits me just fine. One is the Oregon Trail, and the other's the Santa Fe. You can take your pick. Don't matter none to me. And we'll be choosing the Oregon Trail. Good enough. There's about half the folks who say they'll follow my lead. We'll pass the word along, and when we come to the fork... The folks can turn off one way or the other, just as they've a mind to. Honest, I wish there's some way to fix it up between you fellas. Well, there ain't. I've known Amos since he was knee-high to a grasshopper. And he's never had good sense. Yeah, and you all has been the same stubborn galoot you are right now. Good night. The next day we find Tonto, the faithful Indian companion of the Lone Ranger, in the hills, not far from the camp of the covered wagons. He's crept as close as possible to a group of outlaws who are posing as trappers. His powerful horse is concealed behind rocks. He hears Rick Logan speaking. Sam ought to report pretty quick now. Yeah, he ought to. He's been with the wagon train from Platte River up to now. I counted on him having things fixed so the wagons would divide when they got here. I... Hey, Rick, just a minute. What's the matter, Buck? I just been wondering. Let me see that shooting iron, will you? Here. What ails you? You act downright queer. Them bushes ain't moving from no breeze. Oh, what the? I got him. A redskin hidden in bushes. Come on, let's see what he looks like. There goes his horse. Never mind the horse. What's this engine doing around here? I don't know. I seen them bushes move, and I figured some prowler might be around. Oh, he ain't killed. Your bullet just grazed him. Toss a rope around him for the time. We can decide later what to do with him. All right, boss. Say, Rick, there's Sam coming now. He's right on time. Move it, move it, move it. Anyway. Well, we've been waiting for you, Sam. Couldn't get away before. Howdy, fellas. Well, what's the news? <laughs> I got good news. Boys, this is the slickest stunt we ever pulled off. You got everything set? I worked it just like you said, boss. Them two galoots was just spoiling for a fight. Oh. Say, where'd the engine come from? Buck just now caught him outside camp. He creased the redskin scalp for him. Now, where in thunder have I seen that engine afore? Never mind him. I want to hear about the way things set. Well, boss, I played Carver and old Ridley against each other right from the start. I figured it could be done that way. <laughs> and they were so blamed jealous of each other, they was ready to believe anything I told them. <laughs> I wasn't with them two days before they was fighting about who was to ride to the head of the wagon train and who was to stay at the rear. <laughs> Pretty slick. I made Carver think that Ridley didn't like what he was doing. Then when Carver started shooting off his mouth, I told Ridley that Carver was just trying to fix it so as he'd be boss. Don't look like you missed any tricks, Sam. I sure didn't. 
Before I was through, they was arguing about everything from the food to the way the wagons ought to line up. You all it was the smoothest talker I ever heard. <laughs> and all the time, I made them think I was trying to keep them friendly. If you told them it was me got them to fight, they wouldn't believe you. Well, what decided them to bust up? <laughs> That's the best yet. Yeah? I got them to arguing about buffaloes. Uh, what's that? <laughs> it's a fact, so help me. Old Ridley was dead set again killing off the buffalo for the fun of it. And then what? So when I told Carver the way Ridley figured, why, there wasn't nothing to do but he'd shoot as many buffalo as he blamed please. And now the wagon train is split up for sure? You bet it is. One half's going to Texas and the other half's heading for California. They carrying plenty of cash with them? Uh-huh. They sold everything they had before they started moving farther west. <laughs> well, they're just the sort of folks we want to meet up with then. What's your plans? Well, now that they've divided up, we can raid either one of them without taking chances. Mm, yeah. First, oh. we'll go after the bunch that's taken the Oregon Trail. You see, they most likely will get through Saddle Pass before they make camp for the night. Yeah, Carter said they aim to get that fur. And once through the pass, there won't be no chance of their friends giving them any help. How's that? Shucks. That pass is so narrow, two fellas with extra guns can hold off a troop of soldiers if they wanted to. Then when we've finished, we can get the others. You're going to get started pretty soon? Oh, we'll wait an hour or so. Needn't start that early the way wagon trains travel. We can take our time. Oh, how about the engine here? We'll leave Buck behind to guard him. Maybe later on we can fix it some way... To make it look like it was engines did the raiding. Good enough. And when that wagon train gets through the pass, we'll be there to make them folks feel right to home. <laughs> yes, sirree. They're going to get a red-hot welcome. The Lone Ranger was camped only an hour's ride from the headquarters of the outlaws. At the sight of White Fellow returning without his master, Tonto, he was instantly aroused. White Fellow, what's happened? Where's Tonto? <laughs> you know where he is, old fellow. Do you want me to follow you? <laughs> Please, sir. If anything's happened to Tonto, we'll help him, White Fellow. I wonder if Tonto could have found the outlaws we've been hunting, Silver. We're ready, White Fellow. Lead the way and we'll follow. Come on, Silver. Departed early, planning to make the trip to Saddle Pass without hurrying. They left Tonto still bound to the tree, apparently unconscious. The outlaw buck remained behind to guard him. There, there, Redskin. You come to yet? Mm. Yeah, sure run a nice photo across your scalp with my shooting iron. You're darn lucky you wasn't killed. Oh, you... You... You shoot me? <laughs> it was me, all right. And it ain't gonna do you no good to look at me like it feel pleased to carve me up. You won't be getting loose on them ropes. What you do with White Feller? That's the name of that white horse of yours? Uh, he got away. I sure wanted to throw my rope on him. He was a swell piece of horse flesh. Him good horse. Maybe him get him, you. <laughs> Are you loco, Injun? Now, just how'd that horse get me? Maybe you see. <laughs> That's a good one, that is. <laughs> hey, what are you staring at? Me not. There. You sure was. You wouldn't be up to no tricks, would you? Tonto not see anything. Uh-huh. And maybe you did. I think I'll do a little investigating. I'll go... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Tonto, you all right? Tonto, all right. Tonto, see you come. Yes, I was afraid this man might guess that someone was behind him. Here, I'll cut these ropes. White fella, bring you. Yes, he led me here. You tie up that fella. I will. Then we ride fast. Why? There's plenty of trouble. Me tell you what Tonto hear. I want to hear your story, Kimosabe. Tonto tell you. Then maybe we save white people. The curtain falls on the first act of our thrilling Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. Sam Dougal, an outlaw, was hired by Peter Ridley, the leader of a wagon train. Sam brought about a quarrel between Ridley and Carver, which led to the party's division. Tonto, scouting near the camp of outlaws, was captured, but later freed by the Lone Ranger when the outlaws departed to attack a wagon train. The faithful Indian told the masked man of the outlaws' plans. It is late afternoon as our second act opens. Peter Ridley, riding at the head of the wagon train, slowly making its way down the Santa Fe Trail, is speaking to a companion. I tell you, Jake, I've known Amos Carver, man and boy, for over 35 years. And I've yet to see the day you could get sense into his head without a sledgehammer. You was mighty good friends once, Pete. Well, we ain't no more. You don't seem right somehow. Some of us are heading for Texas and some for California. Maybe we won't never see the other folks again. Uh, serves them right for following a mutton head like Amos. Yeah, we ain't so far along, but what we could join up. Look here, Jake. What's done is done. There ain't no going back. That's the last word I got to say. Well, Pa always did say there weren't no worse enemies than them that had been friends. Ain't seen nothing of Sam Dougal, have you? Nope. Not since early morning. Reckon he went with Amos? Maybe. Well, I'll be... Look over yonder. That might be Sam now. Huh? See them two fellas riding this way? Mm-hmm. Gosh almighty, ain't they covering the ground, though? Neither one of them, Sam. Well, how come you know that? Well, they're riding white horses. Sam's horse was a bay. I want no match for either of those critters. They sure are beauties. Come on, Sam! What was he hollering? I don't know. I couldn't make it out. Well, I sure ain't wasting time getting here. Leaping catfish. One of them's masked. The other's a redskin. Peter Ridley! That's me, stranger. Right over here. Pull up here, Jake. Ain't a hold-up, is it? Two fellas hold up a wagon train? <laughs> Jake, sometimes you ain't got a mite more sense than ain't. Oh, oh, Silver! Oh, 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 oh. Oh. You're Peter Ridley? That's me. What's on your mind? Ridley, you've been tricked. Huh? What's that? Outlaws divided your train to make it easier to attack. <laughs> Mister, what kind of a stunt is this? Sounds kind of funny for a fellow wearing a mask to talk of outlaws. But I'm not an outlaw. Well, then how about the mask? I can explain that later. Now you must listen to me. Pete, there's something about this fellow I like. Maybe he ain't an outlaw. You leave me to handle this, Jake. Amos Carver and his party will be wiped out unless you hurry. This ain't some trick, is it, stranger? My friend was captured by the outlaws. You can see the bullet wound they gave him. Yeah? And how come he's still living? He pretended to be unconscious when the outlaws made their plans. They let him live because they didn't believe he'd heard them. Go on. They'll attack the other party somewhere beyond Saddle Pass. Just a minute. Where'd you get the darn fool notion that outlaws split up my wagon train? Sam Dougal is an outlaw. He brought about the quarrel. That was his purpose when he joined your party. <laughs> stranger... Sam was the most peaceable fellow you ever seen. He was always trying to smooth things out. You don't believe me? No, sirree, mister. You ain't going to get me to swallow a story like that. Pete, you're just as stubborn as Amos. I can't see the arm in checking up on what this fella says. The outlaws are traveling slowly. But if you don't ride it once, it'll be too late. Now, hold on. Maybe you're an outlaw. Maybe you're just planning to get the men folks away from here and hey, then... wait. There's Chuck. Seems in as big a hurry as these fellas. Looks like he's been over the back trail, the direction he's coming. Oh, there, boy. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Pete. Pete! What's ailing you, Chuck? There's something wrong with Carver's wagon train. Something powerful wrong. Yeah? I'm so darned out of breath, I can hardly talk. Well, if you got something to tell, tell it. I just came from Saddle Pass Way. Now, what in tarnation was you doing over there? Well, you... You see, Sari Ann is with the other folks The and... blazes with Sari Ann. Talk off. I was almost to the pass when I, I heard some shooting. <laughs> Most likely Amos, gunning for Buffalo. There's a herd over his way. Buffalo, nothing. Them shots was aimed at me. Somebody was trying to keep me out of that pass. Pete, I bet the mask color was right all the time. Amos sure wouldn't fire at Chuck. The outlaws are there now. You really figure it's outlaws? Of course. But we may be able to save Carter's party if you bring your men at once. Can they hold off the outlaws for a time? Them sidewinders won't get Amos without trouble. Are you going to do something, Pete? Am I? Amos ain't got much sense, but he's my friend. And I'll fill the fellow full of lead that tries to do him harm. Come on, stranger, let's get going. organized the men in Ridley's party to ride to the rescue of their friends. With a masked man in the lead, they raced toward Saddle Pass. As they charged down upon the narrow cut, they were met with a volley of shots. See, I don't want to get through that pass. 
The rest of the outlaws are surrounding the wagon. Shall we fight anyhow, stranger? We can't. They can easily shoot us from cover as we approach. We gotta do something. We just gotta. Let's stop before we get within their range. Oh, 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 oh. We've got to ride through that pass. We can't just stand here while them polecats are shooting up our friends. That's right, Pete. And I've got to save Sarah Ann. If them coyotes harm her, Wait. I'll... The wagon frame is still holding out. Now, the outlaws wouldn't be blocking the pass. How do you figure that? They'd have no reason to stay if their work were finished. Yeah, that sounds like sense. There may be another way to reach Carver. There ain't no other way, stranger. We can't ride up them cliffs. Isn't that right. Now, can we ride through the pass? Carver wouldn't be helped by our death. To blazes with that. If our friends is killed, we might as well be too. And leave the women and children in your own party unprotected? No, we can't do that. He's right. I guess we were so blamed mad we was forgetting. If only you and Amos hadn't broke up, Pete. Then all because of them blamed Buffalo. Buffalo? Huh? Didn't we pass some of the main herd beyond that rise? Oh, yes, but How I... How far beyond the pass is Carver's party? Oh, must be near a mile. You can see the fighting going on through the cut. And I have a plan I believe will work. Something to save, Amos? Yes. Then tell us your scheme, stranger, and we'll do anything you say. The Lone Ranger outlined his plan to the men, and they went into action. But in the meantime, the outlaws' attack was proceeding as their leader had ordered. The greater part of the gang, taking no risks, slowly wore down the resistance of Amos and his men. The remainder, including Rick Logan and Sam Dougal, held their positions at the pass. Rick is speaking. We're doing all right, ain't we, Sam? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Like you said, Rick, the whole troop of cavalry couldn't get through this pass unless we let them. Uh But we ain't letting them. How are the boys making out with the wagon train? Taking it careful, like I told them. Ain't no use rushing the wagons. They can stand off and snipe them without getting shot themselves. It'll take a long time that way, boss. Oh, what about it? We ain't in no hurry. Nobody can get past us to give them a hand. It'll be dark for long. All the better. If they light fires, they can be shot at without no trouble. And if they don't, the boys can sneak up to the wagons without being seen. Yes, you're right, boss. Never seen the time Rick had things figured wrong? <laughs> You just bet I don't. <laughs> Did you see how that bunch that came with the big hombre and the white horse stopped real sudden? <laughs> they didn't take to the taste of lead we gave them. They sure pulled up without no hesitation. I sort of hoped they'd keep on. It would have been fun picking them fellers off. Yeah. <laughs> Wonder yeah. what they're up to now. They done the only thing they could do. What's that? Turned around and read back to where they come from. Yeah, they must have. The hurry they was in, they probably figured we was like to chase them. That's funny. What's funny? What's that trembling in the ground? Huh? My golly, I, I don't know. Like there was a whole herd of cattle running wild. There ain't no cattle in this country. There ain't, and that's a fact. Now, I wonder... Hey, boss, take a look. Well, what do you mean? Down the valley. See it? Buffalo. By the south. Yeah. Them. What in thunder brought them this way? They was grazing out in the prairie the last I seen of them. It's a stampede. Look at them raise the dust. Say, ain't there some fellows on horses chasing them? My golly, there is. And one of them is the same hombre we saw before. The fellow with the big white horse. That's him. The buffalo's heading right for the pass. If they come busting through here, we ain't got a chance. Stop bluffing them and going loco. Fire at them. Try to turn them. The shots don't raise them. Keep on shooting. They gotta be stopped. They'll trample us. Cut us to pieces. I'm getting out of here. Stay where you are. If you move, I'll take you with lead. My boss, listen. If they get through, we're licked. Keep on shooting. You can't stop them. You can't. I'm telling you. Can't stop them no more in a mountain slide. Watch out, hey, watch out. We gotta run. Run for it, fellas. They're right on us. Run for your lives. The maddened herd of buffalo, urged down by the Lone Ranger and Ridley's men, thundered through the pass, sweeping all before it. As they cleared the way, the masked man and his companions raced through the pass. Come on, silver old fellow! Spread out those great lights of yours! The wagon train must be saved! Cut them out of those young boys! Cut them down! Let me be. I give up, I tell you. So, Sam, 
You was an outlaw, like the masked feller said. Ridley, this gang has made a practice of attacking small wagon trains. Well, they ain't going to do it no more, thanks to you, stranger. We're going to have one of the band tied up at their camp. We can get him later. Get along, you low-down sidewinder. Get along before I ventilate your hide. Don't shoot. Watch out for that gun. I'm doing what you tell me, ain't I? You'd better. You know what's good for you. Amos! Pete! By the eternal. How are you hurt, Amos? <laughs> Nary a scratch. Uh, and are the others all right? Shucks. None of them are hurt so bad the time won't mend them. <laughs> but you sure come along just in time. Yeah, but it was the masked fellow got us here. It was him that thought of stampeding the buffalo. You were fortunate to survive this danger. <laughs> Weren't we, though? But you will meet many more dangers before your journey is over. We've learned that, stranger. If you travel separately, neither party will be strong enough to defend itself. Oh, just what are you getting at, stranger? Forget your quarrels and reunite. You owe it to the people you lead. Well, uh, I'm willing. Oh, you old goat, you listen to me. I, uh... I was bent for trouble, and, and I got it. <laughs> and here's my hand to show I'm sorry. You really mean you want to join up with me again, Amos? <laughs> Ain't that what I'm saying? Shake. We're <laughs> friends again. Even if you are a stubborn old idiot. <laughs> uh, there's another thing, Pete. Yeah? About them buffalo. They saved my life after I was dead set on killing them for sport. Well, they sure did. <laughs> and I got this to say. The first fella I see shooting them regardless has got me to deal with. And that goes as it stands. Hello, Silver! Hello, you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.